So in this video, we're gonna talk all about water. So let's start with talking about uh, cups. So the first cup that I'm gonna to recommend to start with is an open cup. So an open cup would just be a small glass or plastic or even metal cup. Um, and to help your baby teach them how to drink water, you'll slowly lift it up to their mouth and tip it so that only a little bit of water comes into their mouth. You wanna fill this with anywhere from half an ounce to two ounces of water. Start really small and give them sips with each meal. Also allow them the opportunity to pick up the cup and practice bringing it to their mouth, but keep in mind that they will get wet and this will get messy. So a great way to introduce open cups is in the tub before bath time. So we'll start with an open cup and then we wanna to move to a straw cup. So for a straw cup, you can provide them with really any cup that has a small straw. My favorites are Take and Toss and Think Baby. Those are in my Amazon shop at the bottom of this course. Um, and I also recommend starting with a Honey Bear Straw Cup. So this is the Honey Bear Straw Cup. It's great because um, for a baby who hasn't yet figured out that you need to suck on the straw to get water out, you can put the straw, or let them put the straw into their mouth, and then you squeeze it just a little bit, and water will come out very gently into their mouth. And then they'll start to get the picture that they can suck, and then water will then come out. So this is the Honey Bear Straw Cup, and this is how we'll be introducing straw cups to my son. After they master a straw cup, then you can move on to like heavier cups or water bottles um, just because they're more challenging to lift. Um, things that you want to avoid are any bottles that require you to bite. So this is a camelback, so you have to bite the valve to get water out. You want to avoid these for kiddos because we don't want to teach them that they need to bite a straw in order to get water out because then they're going to, you're going to have a straw chewer on your hands. Um, other things that you want to avoid are sippy cups because sippy cups don't require the same oral motor tongue motion that drinking from a open cup or a straw cup would require. But sippy cups also don't support the upper palate in the same way that a nipple or bottle nipple would. Um, so it's just a double not ideal situation. So I recommend skipping a sippy cup altogether. And finally, I also recommend skipping offering water in a bottle because we want to transition them away from bottles eventually um, and so why perpetuate that when we can provide them with other vessels that are more appropriate as they get older. All right, so another common question I get is how much water should babies drink per day? The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends about four to eight ounces per day for six to 12 months old. So this does not mean that you should all of a sudden start right out the gate with offering your six month old eight ounces of water, nor, should, nor would you expect them to drink that. So you wanna start with a lower range and this doesn't, these numbers, the four to eight ounces per day is not a minimum. Your baby, your six month old baby who's just starting solids does not need to be drinking four ounces per day. So start low and work your way up. Again, these water volumes aren't something that I would focus on when you're first introducing solids. So offer water with each meal, but don't feel like you need to measure or track um, and or stress if they're not drinking a ton of water because they need to learn how to drink from a cup first before they can even take in the water. Their primary hydration source is still going to be breast milk or formula, and they should be taking in enough breast milk or formula to meet their hydration needs needs 100% at the time you are starting solids. Water is just additional and supplemental to teach them how to drink from cups and to teach them to enjoy water. Now, if your baby is constipated, water can sometimes help, but you'll also be, want to be working with a doctor or a pediatric dietitian at that point to make sure that there's nothing else going on and make sure the volume we're offering is appropriate. So is there a maximum water in intake per day? Um, so again, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends four to eight ounces per day for six to 12 months old. But if water intake is interfering with your baby's intake of breast milk or formula, then they're taking in too much. So that's a really good benchmark to recommend. Um, if your baby is really enjoying the straw cup or the open, open cup and you find them like chugging water because maybe they just really like the cup, try offering breast milk or formula in their cup too to change it up so they can still enjoy the cup, but then they're getting the nutrition from the breast milk or formula that they need. Um, also, focusing on open cups here as much as possible is going to prevent your baby from taking in large volumes of water anyways because babies usually drink much slower with an open cup. But if you're concerned about the volume of water that your baby seems to be wanting, make sure to talk to your pediatric dietitian or, to your, pe or your pediatrician. 
So when should I serve water? You can serve it both with and without food. I recommend serving water with food at every meal that you're offering your baby um, because it's typical to have a glass of water with a meal. So you're just teaching them the way that meals normally look. Um, and you can also offer them other learning opportunities throughout the day to learn to use an, an open cup or a straw cup. Um, and as far as the volume that you should be offering at one time, you can do anywhere from half an ounce to two ounces in the cup so it's not overwhelming. If you're offering your baby one to two meals per day, typically I recommend offering one to two ounces in the cup at a time and that will get you to around that four ounce mark of offering. But remember, you don't have to be too stressed about measuring here. Um, we just wanna give your baby lots of opportunity to learn. I also get questions about, like someone told me the baby should never have water, what's up with that? So this is actually a pretty outdated recommendation. Water is safe for babies to have as long as they're still taking in the appropriate volume of breast milk and formula. Their growth is appropriate. There's no medical indications that say they should not be drinking any water and their volume isn't exceeding this, you know, four to eight ounces per day. If you get, again, if you're certain concerned, make sure to reach out to your healthcare provider. So just remember that you don't want water to displace their formula or breast milk intake um, when you're first introducing solids. Water is just meant to be additional. So what about water safety? Tap water is perfectly safe for babies in the US. I'm not up to date with any water safety recommendations elsewhere. And in general, as if water is safe for adults, it's safe for babies as well. Again, this is in the US. So tap water is totally fine for babies in the US. So in general, let's give a summary here of what water looks like for serving water, what that looks like for babies. So off, start with an open cup. Offer them anywhere from half an ounce to two ounces each time that you serve a meal. Remember that water is meant to be additional. It's not meant to replace any formula or breast milk at this point. They're gonna get wet and they're gonna get messy and treat it as a learning experience. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Can you see that? I can't see it.